Hey guys, what's going on? Ozzy Freak 994 here, doing another uh, knife review today. Uh, my channel just got put back up, so uh, all right, we're gonna start off with a nice little Cold Steel Recon One review. I'm gonna get into that in a second, but first, I want to make a couple shoutouts. Nothing fancy. You're basically the one making this review happen because after watching your review on the Cold Steel Recon One, I just said I gotta have it. Went out and picked myself up one and I'm 100% satisfied with the knife so far, so thank you for that. Um, second person, the Cajun Blaze also has great reviews, guys. Check him out. Also, uh, Virtual Vice. He's also great, great guy. He uh, does a ton of uh, different knife reviews, fixed blade reviews. He does. He has hunting videos. He's, he's great. I mean, he definitely puts his knives to the test, too. Uh, I can't really think of any others off the top of my head. I didn't uh, come on down with a with a sheet, but anyways, all right, we're already a minute in, so let's get going here. Now, nothing fancy. If you seem to come across this video, I don't know. I might send it to you, but don't. Uh, not trying to, you know, steal your fans or whatever. But I saw your. I really like the way you review your knife, so I am using actually your um y your ways of reviewing it like I, I I wrote down what you have on your review sheet and I'm implementing them into my reviews so uh, maybe you'll see that and I don't know maybe you'll like what I got to say about it but so let's get into the recon one first I'm gonna start off by telling you guys if you're looking for an everyday carry you know just throw your night throw your knife in your pocket you know before you leave the house just for small jobs and stuff like that small little like cutting tasks or you know, opening things you know everyday things then this probably won't be a knife that you would want to go to unless you know there, there are some people that like to carry around larger folding knives and this my friends is definitely a great example of a large folding knife I mean I mean look at that that's closed and it already <laughs> it's already double the size of my alright this thing's huge but anyways uh, let's see the, like the philosophy of use I would put this knife into a couple different classes one would be a he definitely heavy duty folder made for tough work you know putting it to the test against a lot of hard heavy duty cutting or a tactical folding knife just like nothing fancy said this could definitely be used in the tactical field of knives and it could be used in many ways well, I, well two ways but of course you know the knife I mean as you guys can see big blade it's got a ton of reach on that overall it's uh, nine and three eighths inches open blade is a four inch blade so this is definitely a, a large knife if you will or it also has the uh, it also has the option of becoming a non-lethal impact device, aka Kubaton or something of that sort. Because if I were to, I have I have fairly large hands. You can see my hands. And if I grip this knife, this is the top. This is the top sticking out. I still have all this real estate down here. Got about maybe at least an inch inch and a half or so. That like guys, this is. This is a G10 handle, and I mean this knife's got a good weight to it. And trust me, this is really hard surface. If you do not want to be on the other end of this, whether you're getting hit anywhere, it could be you could get hit. You can use this for you know ribs, neck, head, anything for a non-lethal impact device. I believe that this would do that job very well. Quality. The quality of this knife, what I've seen so far, is outstanding. I love, I love the G10 handle. I don't know if you could see those scales on it, but man, let me tell you, this is like, it's like rubbing sandpaper it grips so well. Like, I, you can't even, it's great. It's a great texturing, great handle. Um, so overall, the quality, I love the blade, I love the pocket clip. There's nothing I don't, actually I don't love about this knife. Let, let's go into weight balance and feel now wait guys keep in mind this is this knife is nine and three eighths inch knife open it weighs 5.3 ounces now some people 
don't really mind the weight and you know there are some people that do carry around larger folding knives or or fixed blades for EDC some people need a knife with more with more you bang to it you know if you will so five and three eighths ounces for the for the work and duty and service that you can put this knife into I feel like that's that's a steal good job cold steel because you really five and three eighths ounces for a nine nine no five and three ounces excuse me for a nine and three eighths inch knife with this type of strength is it's great I mean there's no, there's a lot of there's a lot of knives with, with with four inch blades ton of them that weigh double you know now the handle I already got into the handle again I'm just gonna show you this nice G10 I don't know if you could see it on this crappy webcam but it's it's really grippy I've held this with wet hands sweaty hands it's great um let's get into um oh the blade design and steel this is the this version right here is the uh, partially serrated clip point blade as you can see and um, it has a 3 mm no th oh excuse me sorry 3.5 mm blade you know then it drops with the clip point and uh, it's it's all eight steel you know not the best not the best but if you make if you maintain it sharpen it every once in a while oil it you know it, it'll it's gonna last you a long time but you know, not not the best, but also we'll get into price later, and we'll talk about that. Uh, competitive options for the Recon One. There are a lot of other competitive options for the Recon One. For instance, the AK-47 by Cold Steel, or if you want to go into higher price, work very very heavy, more more heavier due to let's say they ha they have some really nice Spider Co's. For instance, the Spider Co. Let's say the Spider Co military. Sure, that would be a heavier, good use knife. But also, that's oh, that's a lot more money. Uh, the cool factor. I mean, this knife. <laughs> ever since I got this thing, I've been sitting around and just flipping it all day long. It's so much fun. This knife's definitely cool, but but for we'll get into price now. Definitely worth the price. I got this knife for a steal. I got it on Amazon, and I got this knife right here what you're seeing for like 60 60 or 65 bucks I believe now on the website it's like 85 I'm pretty sure it's 85 and I mean I think what I think right now that this was a great purchase because from all the quality that I see I would definitely pay 65 dollars for this knife and I could have spent 65 dollars on some other knife that wouldn't have been half as good so I'm really really impressed with the quality of cold steel and the value because I feel like I can get a lot of work out of this knife for the price that I paid now let me just show you guys something before I wrap up here because I'm already eight minutes in I haven't touched this knife with a sharpener strop anything since this is out of the box sharpness right now these come razor razor sharp out of the box let me just flick it open for you real quick and show you a little uh, little paper test it, it shaves like I I can I can literally shave myself with this knife. It's razor sharp. I can just no problem. Look at all these little smidgens of paper here. Oh, let me find them all. All these little little things. That's the Cold Steel Recon one for you. I recommend that if you need a, a more heavier use knife and got about 60, 70 bucks that you're willing to spend, then this is a great, great choice in my point of view. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll, be I'll be making more reviews soon, guys. So, see you later.